What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now you may remember if you've been a long term viewer of the channel, we've done a lot of videos to do with having wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. I got a lot of questions of well, what if you haven't got a screen, you know, how am I get how am I to get CarPlay or Android Auto? Well, a company called CarPuride reached out and sent out this. It is a 9 inch IPS touchscreen display that allows you to have CarPlay and Android Auto it comes with the AUX cables and everything that you need so let's take a look at what you get in the box we'll get it fitted into the car I know I've already got a screen but I'll take me and me CarPlay out completely off my screen and we'll put it into this one and we'll see just how good it is having one of these in the car if you don't have a screen okay so now I don't have me trusty unboxing knife with me because obviously I am outside so I've got my keys, so let's just see if we can get this open. So now what you've got on the front says HD display, 9 inch IPS touchscreen display, Bluetooth, USB, TF audio, video, voice controls and a USB charge port, in vehicle multimedia solutions, you got phone link, FM transmitting, 1080p HD touchscreen display, SD card, rear view camera, voice controls, AUX and USB, on this side some of the main features of the unit itself so you get a mount 3m adapter that you can mount to your dashboard connection to keep it charged up and keep it on obviously when it's in the car a screen mount so you can place this on your windscreen aux cable for your audio now this car doesn't have an aux solution because it's got usb in it you get the small circle for mounting to your dash and your carp your ride manual as I said, it is a 9 inch IPS touchscreen panel. Now, they do come in many other versions, I believe, as well. There is a smaller screen than this one. This is the 9 inch one. So, ports on the side for your SD card, your AV out, cam in, USB, your power adapter, and nothing on the other side. Power button on the top right here. Let's go ahead and get it all set up in the car and we'll see exactly what it's like. Get my phone connected to it. Okay, so ignore my screen, pretend this isn't here, and this would be here in place of that. So now, this is what you've got. This is what your interface is going to look like. You've got iPlay, A-Auto, AirPlay. So I'm assuming you can transmit stuff from your phone straight onto this, rather than using CarPlay. Auto Link, your EQ settings, Bluetooth, USB, your SD card, FM transmitter, and your settings. So which English device speaker, Right drive, restore factory settings, system version, you come down, Android wired link, Android uh, iPhone wired link, so you can just plug your phone straight into these as well. You've got Wi-Fi and video warning, park line, park line setting and a rear camera mirror, so you can have different connections going to this. So what you're going to find as well is you're going to find a link in the description down below to where you can pick one of these up for yourself. These would be perfect for if you drive maybe a van that doesn't have carplay and you know you want to be able to use your normal sat nav rather than killing the battery on your phone connect it up to this you've got your brightness you can have different backgrounds so as you can see cycle through and you can go back you can go obviously the home button you've got your audio where you want it. it tells you the time you've got your bluetooth and stuff like that what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to find a link in the description to carp your rides website with a 15% off discount code to where you can pick up anything site-wide with 15% off you'll find that in the link in the description down below what i'll do is i'll show you android auto working first so if we go ahead and do this so as you can see it is a wireless connection so if we go ahead go to bluetooth so i'm using the s23 ultra so if we go up go to connections we go to bluetooth w701 so it's that one right there Let's see if it connects up. Okay, so it's now pair. It's in pairing mode. Pairing request. So pair. Connected for calls. Paul's S23 Ultra has come on the screen. To continue, select Android Auto on your car screen. So fingers crossed this works. Okay, so click. Let's click home. Android Auto is now connecting. Welcome to Android Auto. Click continue. Okay, so let's go back to that. Let's go to the apps. There's all the apps that you can use. WhatsApp. No ways at the minute though, so that's a bit concerning, but okay, never mind. So there's the settings, show conversations, etc. You know, all the usual. 
day night mode for maps google maps needs location as i use Waze, i haven't really used google maps on this phone yet but i will sort that out at some point and show you it all working but this is playing spotify now it does have an inbuilt speaker i can't really play much without getting copyright striked so play a little bit of this maybe so that's playing through the speaker on the device itself now you've plugged into your car it comes through your own speakers so that's playing that's now android auto you can go into spotify as you can see you go to spotify you can go through all your playlist etc google assistant right here you've got your calls all your messages the time your 5g what your battery percentage is on currently i'm on 89 percent, so that's about right so that's showing perfect android auto okay so before we jump over to the iphone side of things to get carplay working i thought i'd show you i've logged into google maps so it's showing me my location where i can drive to and it's showing me the spotify player in the bottom right here but it is all working it's all up and running i don't know why it says rolls royce in the top corner if we go to carplay i can connect to carplay through the iphone but it's not set up now because Android Auto is now taking priority. Now you'll plug this in much better than I've already done. I'm, I'm only running this for the video. You'll obviously run it all the way around the car. I have it plumbed in all nice and your screen in the centre or on the dash, wherever you want it. It does look really, really good. I mean, I don't know whether the video is doing this justice right now because obviously it's pinging off this screen right here too. Right, okay, so I've switched over to a different phone now to use the camera. Let's connect up the iPhone now. Show you CarPlay working. Let's click on iPlay. So it shows you the same screen as it did for the Android Auto. So we go to Bluetooth. Shows the device on the bottom. Click pair. Says connected. So place that here for one sec. And there we go. So there's CarPlay working. This is Waze. So click the screen here. These are all the apps that you can have. WhatsApp, Waze, SafeLink is from your little SafeLink thing that I've done a video on in the past. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave it linked up here for you guys to check out. Google Maps and then settings, calendar, audiobooks, podcasts, and then car home will just take you back to the main screen itself. And then obviously you can just click on iPlay again and you're right back into CarPlay. And obviously I'm listening to the Impulsive podcast right now. If we go to, I should have some copyright free music on here. So let's click that one. And there you go. So obviously I haven't got a USB to USB. So I can put it, plug it into the car. If I had one, I'd be able to plug it in and see if it worked. But I haven't actually got a USB to USB. It may work plugging it into USB, but the best thing to have obviously would be the AUX cable. So you could be able to do it that way. As you can see, works just as it should. Works perfectly. You can go to Apple Maps as well. Click allow and then you can go straight in. So there's Apple Maps. I'll show you Google Maps as well. Now this still does have a screen protector on it. I haven't actually took it off as you can see. That's why there's a bump just here. As you can see, works just as it should you've got ways you've got your search for ways and whatever you're listening to on the bottom right here but that is now also carplay working too on the screen so go to brightness brightness is a full percent still got a fair bit of audio that i can do so i have it come through the main screen itself and uh, i can just click this and go back to carplay let's plug in the iphone it's also charging as well and there we go so this is a wired connection for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto through the screen. So you haven't got to have it wireless, you can have it plugged in. So there it is, there's wired CarPlay. Let's go car home again, let's unplug this now. So AirPlay, you can AirPlay the same screen. So what I've found is the AirPlay, there's a bit of faffing about to do with the AirPlay side of things, but I mean, it, it will work, you can get it to work, but it does seem to be a bit of a faff to do it, especially if you've already got CarPlay connected and stuff like that. Use an AirPlay, you'd have to disconnect everything, you know, turn everything off on your Bluetooth, etc. You know, turn all that off. Make sure CarPlay is not connected and then literally try and get it to connect to the AirPlay as you can see. But I mean, for some reason, it just it will not start playing like it should. Thinking of a single mortgage. So, yeah, also, I can get to do is I can get it to play audio through AirPlay. But I can't get it to play video through AirPlay. So there's that to think about. But you can put a USB in the side of it. You can put an SD card in with movies or music on, etc. You can do it through that. You've just got Bluetooth audio and then your EQ. You know, you can change all this as well. Change all your EQ, standard, classical, jazz, electric, pop, soft, custom, standard again. Loud, you can turn loud on. So let me go back to... Let me turn CarPlay back on and we'll see if loud makes any difference just before we end the video. Let that all connect up. Music. Now let's see if it makes any difference. Yeah, it's a fair bit louder. So 
so there's that and then you can just go back and you're back onto carplay so everyone let me know what you think of the car you ride ski so is there something you consider picking up for yourself to go in your car van lorry whatever it is you've got that you may want apple carplay for or android auto is this something you consider picking up for yourself let me know in the comment section down below don't forget there's a a code and a link to the website with my code on it for 15 percent off so be sure to check that out but i think this is absolutely fantastic i think it's probably one of the best devices we've seen so far but let me know what you think in the comment section down below and do you have one already and would you consider picking a bigger screen there you know if you've got the smaller version but thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate it like if you liked it subs if you loved it turn those notifications on huge thank you to carp you arrived for sending that out for us to take a look at and i'll see you in the next one take care guys see you all soon